Hi guys, today I want to talk about um, Teach Yourself to Read in 100 Easy Lessons by Engelman, Haddock and Brunner and I'm pretty sure you have heard about this book a lot. Um, I um, used this book for two of my children and let me tell you, it was a miracle on the happening. I mean, I don't even know how I did it. I follow the book to the tooth or to the teeth. I don't know how you guys say that, but I tried to do it. I, well, actually I didn't. I made my own changes, but I tried to stick to it um, as much as I could, or I really, really tried hard. Um, and I just want to talk about um, a few tips that I want to give you that I did, that I worked for me. And I also wanted to talk about what to do after you're done with the book. Because nobody told me about it. And, well, you just keep reading, obviously. But I just want to show you because at the end of the book, they suggest 20 books to follow up with your child. And I want to just show you the book so you know if you want to do it. A lot of people don't do it, but I did it because... My first language is Spanish, and my second language is English, and um, I just learned to speak English like 13 years ago, so I was very apprehensive and scared in how I was going to teach my kids to read, and one of the things that I oh, doubted homeschooling was because of my um, limitation on the language, but let me tell you, with this book, it was just such a blessing. And girlfriend, if I did it, anyone can't. Literally. My kids are reading. My second child is reading. She is a good reader. And I taught her. And for me, that's a, such a great accomplishment because I just learned to speak this language. And you can hear the strong accent and she's reading I mean it's just amazing and we are in lesson I started with my preschooler and he's gonna start kindergarten in the fall and we almost done with it and he's doing so good too so I'm so so happy um, that I have this book anyway um, things that I would like to um, tell you it really worked good for us um, I made this little this construction paper and I um, laminated it and what I will do the night before before my lesson I will set it right here and we will read a story twice and then we will reveal that for the picture comprehension part at the end and it was really good because at the beginning I used to put a, like a like a sheet of paper, white sheet of paper or whatever and it will be um, see through and they will be like oh I know what's going to happen and they will be getting distracted because of the picture um, before they were finished reading the story so this is perfect, they cannot peek in there and and they actually it was really exciting oh this is out of focus again um, for them to the moment and well I will reveal the picture and it was really fun they used, they both loved it when you know we will do to this part so anyway this is just you know it's good and you just put it there and then you it's steady you know because it's laminated so if you want to do it another thing that i did that the program doesn't require it but it works good for us i made flashcards and at night before i put my kids down for bed we will work through the lessons through the words that he was going to be reading the, ne the next morning and it's just a quick way to do it introduce him to them and it works so nice it was awesome so I made him just made him make copies and using these cards laminated them and look at that voila and we use them really cool really cool and it was very helpful okay so once you're done with this book the authors suggest 20 books that you could follow up with your child and I just want to show them to you so the first one that they said 
uh, to expose your child to is Have You Seen My Cat? And it's by Eric Carl. And it's mostly pictures, you know, I guess just practicing the picture comprehension and let him see through it and talk about it. And it have a few sentences on it, but it's mostly picture comprehension. And then we have Look What I Can Do by Jose Arrego. There's like 20 right there. Okay. And the next one is We Hi You Sick by Jose, Jose Arruego too. Um, also, I guess. And it's a lot of pictures, have you seen? Animal pictures. And a lot of people um, were saying in the reviews, don't even bother buying it. I did. My kids love them, um, but you don't have to. And then we have I Love You Dear Dragon by Margaret Hillert. And this is a cute, cute book. And then we're gonna here you start seeing longer sentences and little paragraph in here. I'm sorry, I'm using my phone, it's not working, it's not focusing too good. But so, anyway, it's just super cute, super cute, super cute book. This is the first, um, um no, oh, never mind, you know, like my little girl loved it, and then. After that, there's the um, if, uh, if All Seas Were One Sea by Janina Dumanska. That one I couldn't find it. It's somewhere here. Uh, my kids will read them over and over again and it's just misplaced somewhere. But and then after that will be Blue Sea by Robert Kalan or Callan. Probably Callan. Um, and it's just a lot of pictures again. Swim bigger face, swim bigger. Um, just it's just cute little book, few sentences. Um, so yeah, there you go. You see, and then we have the famous Hop and Pop by Duster Seuss, and this is really cute. My kids love this book, but this is super cute, super super cute. Um, and then Inside, Outside, Upside Down by Bernstein, Stan and Jan, and um, this is a cute book too, super cute, super, super cute, I keep saying super, super cute, I love, I love education and I love teaching and resources, I'm a geek for that, so anyway, but anyway, and then we have Green Eggs and Ham, yes, obviously, this is famous in a classic um, and we all know what this is all about so this is awesome my kids love this too and then after that they said to let them read Go 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 by Eastman and this is a really cute book too um, really really cute book oh I'm sorry this is not there you go it's funny my kids loved, loved it they read it all over. They still read it. Um, and then we have mine is best. That's the next suggestion. And this is not focusing. By Crosby Bonsall. Um, and it's just a silly book about two little boys fighting. <sighs> kind of fighting or arguing uh, about their floaty. <laughs> it's cute. Um, yep. And then there's the Karasi, which is a classic and it's super, super awesome. And this is just starting to get a little bit more fuller in words. So anyway, this is the next one that they said they haven't read. Um, Whose Mouse Are You? Focus by Robert Cross. Um, super cute too, this book. Let's see, my phone is having issues. This one doesn't have a lot of words, but it's a funny, funny book. So, and then after that, they suggest Home for Bunny. Super cute little story. I got all these books used for a dollar, 25 cents, a penny. I mean, you can get them or you can rent it at the library 
I found a lot of the library and most of these I even have doubles because um, I keep finding them they're classics and then this one's my favorite who took the farming hat and it's by what is the name John not set not set and it's super cute it's just the hat is going all over the place super cute and, and it have a lot more words too like you see super cute and then the next one is um ah, focus please anyway if we're having issues i'm sorry a kiss for little bear there you go a kiss for little bear by else home homeland that was just a hard last name for me to say but Holland I guess but anyway by else home land oh and anyway and this is a classic um and it's super cute this is a really cute book and I have a like I think this is a series and I have like a couple other books with them this is so pretty it's a pretty story um and then henry marsh and this is by cynthia ryland and it's a cute book i know my little boy is gonna love this book super cute super cute super cute and this have a lot of words this is getting oh, open yeah this is a longer story it's getting deeper into reading and you know like comprehension so super cool much and Henry or Henry and much and then we have Nate the Great which is another classic by Marjorie Women Charmat um cute cute book and then we have dinosaurs before dark and this is from the magic tree house this is stuff i mean this is a, this is a chapter book actually um this is a lot of reading and comprehension and um yeah this one i mean if you start your child this book and then we have hold on i'm sorry look out washington dc by patricia really gift really gift i don't know how you will say that but this is another chapter book and these are all the books that um they advise you to have for your child um after you're done with the book um i did it my kids read them all and they loved it um I, for me, because I don't know, it's my second language, and I was new at homeschooling, and I'm still, you know, learning about it. But I love it that I have a guide to follow. Do you know, like I finish my book, and then they say read this book with them, and then that's what we did. And then I start adding books and books and books, and now we're reading. Um, I loved it. I need, I needed that structure because. I'm a structured person. I need direction, and I do improvise a lot, and I do a lot of stuff for myself. And um, but because this was a topic that I was apprehensive about and scared, I love this program. I mean, I'm telling you, awesome program. So, how to teach your child to write in a hundred easy lessons rocks, and I'm Latino. And my kids are reading English. Amazing, right? Yes. I do have a couple, not a couple, but a few other um, suggestions that I do. I follow up. This book. I mean, I'm in a budget <laughs> because we don't have a lot of resources. And I try to buy used and the cheapest that I can buy. And all my books, if you can say I have tons of books all over our school room. Um, but this book it was so cute and I went to a Osborne party this company the Osborne and I fall in love I fell in love with this book and I paid $20 for it but it was so worth it 20 bucks right here because it comes with a CD 
and the stories are so cute i'm telling you this is so cute my little girl read the whole thing we would read a story every day um and you had she had to read to someone um we read this and it's such a cute book and it has you know the story and just cute like i have flop of um opening things like that the whole book and there are different stories and different characters super super cute oh my goodness we love this see like you can see and and this is just a perfect book that they will totally read by before they are finished with this program this is super cute i recommend this book awesome by osborne dead and friends 20 bucks it's worth it another book that i recommend that is not on the list but we read it is the nose book and this is just uh no it's not the sursu Al, Al perkins but it's really cute and then another one that we read was i'll teach my dog 100 words and this this one i got it for like two cents at the church shop and it's an old book i think this book is like four years but it is super cute super cute so you probably could, could find a newer version of it but they pro they my kids love this this is an old book um obviously they don't have listed the hat in the cat the cat in the hat but that's a must we read it and we have the sequel too so we have the cat in the hat and the cat in the hat comes back they love this book my kids loved it and then i found these on sale at myers and the, it was buy one get one free and i got a coupon so these are like 15 dollars yep i think i paid seven dollars for both of them or maybe i paid nine dollars for both of them it was really cheap both it was cheap um they were like 50 percent off no they were buy one get one free plus i have a coupon 50 percent off coupon or something i know i paid literally nothing and these are like a recopilation of different books as you can see um my little girl read the whole thing i mean she loved reading i mean it's such a blessing but they're different stories it's just a suggestion um love it super cool and then i have this one here too my big book of beginners about me and then this is dr Seuss's. all of them are dr Seuss. almost all of them we have graham um teether i think it is um and the nose again the books that i just show you is right here too so really cute colorful recopilation of books awesome that's another good to have in your library after you're done with this program i bought these for like 10 cents this said 75 but i didn't pay 75 i i paid like 10 cents because i think they were trying to sell it in a garage sale and then they just dump it on the tree shop and i got it for like 10 cents and i love this book this book is awesome read a set um ready set read and this is start for like a really basic level all the way to a lot of classics but um there's a lot of stories right here it's like a recopilation of stories right here sheep in a jeep what little bear where that's about that's another of the um the little bear uh collection Frodo and Toe, which we love Frodo and Toe. Um, I have a few too here that I got at the garage sale and at the tree shop and whatever I found. It. We have poems. I mean, this is a treasure. I love this little book. I loved it. And we read this too. We read it. After we're done, this is another read. Um, another thing that I did different um, with this program. I am so sorry about my own on focus um cell phone there you go is i'm gonna show you i'm sorry that i'm 
texture so I hope you don't get dizzy but I'm gonna show you okay another thing that I did give me just one second okay so you can go to the tree shop or garage sales and just pick books for like pennies um like good night moon this is another classic that they will be able to read this book even before they're done with this program um we have all by myself this this is another collection like there's a lot of them they're so cute and um she was reading this uh right before we were done with the book this right here i got it at the tree shop too um like for 10 cents and this is a reading program that is um it's really old and it's hbg i mean hbj and harcourt brace jovanovich and i have like four of them from different levels and it's really intense reading and then they have like a comprehension part at the end and questions and comp writing and it's they're awesome but they're all and i have been finding them all over the tree shops and goodwill and i have like five of them like this is level one this is probably this is just at the level of after you're done with the hundred easy lessons my child was reading all these little stories and it's colorful colorful and really cute stories super cute um i got this book like for 10 cents i'm the luckiest i get like a cute books but this is awesome and i have like like five of them all the way to like fifth grade and i love this um there's another um little bear uh collection this book you got to have this book this book is so beautiful so cute this is the first book that my little girl read before we did all this that she was not even done with the book and i gave her this book and this little girl would read this book every single day like a couple days a couple times a day and it's about a tree and it's just in a little boy it is so beautiful i love this tree um i love this tree i love this book but anyway you should get this book if you see it anywhere get it it's awesome and then what i was going to say i didn't wait until because um when, right when you're almost at the end of this book the 100 easy lessons they will change um the child into the regular uh font um i didn't wait i exposed my both of my kids to with these two books rather when i was about at least less than 50 or 30 i started doing this every couple days i mean and this is from christian liberty press um and obviously he will be you know like he was reading this see like dan and jan jan ran and whatever and he is reading this like right before so by the time that i went there's another one and he's reading this really good and we're not done with the book but we're practicing see like words like short words with the short vowel sound and so on like that i i just exposed both of my kids to do it um before so by the end of the trans the transition happened he is already used to to the f the different the regular font um i don't know if they recommend that they probably won't but it worked for me i did it with my kids i'm doing it with my little boy now we're gonna start kindergarten and we're almost done with that so he just finished preschool and he's already reading in a first grade level um yep so this is it this is my little tips and discussion about how to teach your child in a hundred is lesson little book right there and thank you so much for watching i'm sorry about the my com my computer my camera not focusing too good and maybe a little bit shaky because 
I ha I'm holding it in my hand and as I'm looking for different books and flipping pages. Hopefully it's not too bad. But God bless and good luck. And if you're thinking about doing this program, I really recommend it. You can do it because I did it. And if I did, you can do it. God bless you. You have a wonderful, wonderful teaching time with your child.